Guys, have you ever wondered why you're not progressing in tennis? Here are 5 things that helped me go from this to this and improve my tennis drastically without needing a coach. A coach can certainly help to improve your technique and the coach is very important if you need help with the basics. Other than that, you can improve a game with these 5 tips in no time. Let's go into it. Guys, the first thing is record and watch yourself play tennis. I did this all the time. It helps finding flaws in the game, maybe timing and technique problems or really small things that you didn't even notice. Like on my surf, I have my elbow very low, which can lead to elbow or shoulder problems down the road. And I didn't even notice that. That is currently something I'm working on, which is very hard because it's a very small thing and it's hard to do and it takes a lot of time. Also, compare your footage to pro players' footage in slow motion, but do not copy them blindlessly just because he or she is your favorite player. Look at what all pros have in common, like how they prepare the backhand or use the whole kinetic chain during their service motion and try to find a way for you that works. The basics are key in tennis and if you get the basics right, you get better and improve your tennis. In summer I play team competition and in winter I am improving parts of my game. Every season I pick two things in my game I want to improve. In 2022 it was my return stance and make my service motion easier and more reliable. After watching myself play tennis a lot in the last couple of months, these two things stood out to me and I made a plan on how to improve that. For instance, on the return, I never realized that I'm standing very upright, which can lead to a very unstable return when someone can hit very hard first serves. That is why I tried to go lower and stay lower on the return and I immediately saw improvements. And I also more focused on the return because of that. So focus on one or maybe two parts of the game you want to improve over the course of a time span and use every session to improve either the one or the other part of your game. Playing with better players is so important for you to improve. This is still huge for me. The better the player is on the other side of the net, the more information I get where my weaknesses are. Last week I have played against the former 900 ATP which was insane to me, did not win a single game but I got so many information in this match where I can improve. Shot selection was a vital part, the return, shot tolerance, footwork which I can improve a lot. This was an eye opening match even though I did not have any chance whatsoever. And also in practice normally the better players are willing to give advice and this is also something that helped me a lot to improve my game. Is there anything you have learned from a better player? Comment down below. And if you find this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Would be amazing. This is obvious. The best tennis players have these traits in common. Extreme endurance, they are fast, they are strong, good coordination and they are flexible. These things you can train in or even outside of a gym and improve your game. I myself going to the gym for years and try to get my body ready for summer competition so I can be in the best shape possible in May. There are so many free videos out there about how you can gain muscle, improve your endurance, getting stronger for tennis so you can find the best way to fit a fitness routine into your weekly schedule. Fitness is a very crucial part for you to become the best tennis player you can be. The hours on court make the best players. This is something that very exceptional players have in common. They spend countless hours playing tennis, practicing, improving and playing matches. Only with that you will become the best tennis player you can be. There is no such thing as perfection tennis even though some players like Roger Federer was looking like the perfect tennis players even they made mistakes Wimbledon 2019 and can improve during their late careers. With a lot of practice and hour on the court, we can improve a little by little that we can be the best players we can get. And guys, if you're interested in 5 mistakes you should not make when buying a new tennis racket, watch this video.